Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms. To begin, let's define a few words that make up the different parts of an algebraic expression. First, we have coefficients. Coefficients are the numbers that are multiplied or attached to a letter. So here, our coefficient is 4. Next, we have variables. Variables are letters that appear in algebraic expressions. For example, here, the variable is x. However, any letter can be used, and expressions can have multiple variables. The last word is constants. Constants are the numerical terms in expressions that stand alone without any variable. As you can see, the constant in this expression is 7. Now, let's get right into it and simplify some expressions. Our first expression is 4x plus 1 plus 3x plus 5. To simplify the expression, we must combine like terms so there is only one of each type of term. As we can see, the expression has one variable, x. However, there are two terms with the variable. To simplify the expression, combine 4x and 3x into one term by adding their coefficients. The coefficients are 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Therefore, the first term in the simplified expression is 7x. We also have two constants, so just add 1 and 5 to get 6, and our simplified expression is 7x plus 6. Now, let's see what happens when subtraction is put in the mix. Here we have the same expression, except a couple of plus signs have been replaced with minus signs. Think of the minus signs as being attached to the term that follows. So. Instead of thinking of the third term as 3x, think of it as minus, or negative, 3x. Therefore, to simplify the expression, we will need to subtract 3x from 4x. So the first term in the simplified expression is 1x. Next, we will need to do the same with our constants. 5 minus 1 is 4. This leaves us with 1x plus 4. However, when simplifying algebraic expressions, writing out the coefficient of 1 is not necessary. So, 1x plus 4 is the same as x plus 4. Algebraic expressions can have multiple variables. Next, we will simplify expressions with two variables. Here we have 3x plus 9y plus 4 minus 8y plus x minus 1. Just like in the last two examples, to simplify the expression, we will need to combine the like terms. However, unlike the last two examples that had two terms in the simplified expressions, this one will have three because it has two variables and constants. First, we will combine the x terms. This gives us 4x, because 3 plus 1 equals 4. Next, we will combine the y terms. 9 minus 8 is 1, so the simplified y term is y. Lastly, we will combine the constants. 4 minus 1 is 3, and our simplified expression is 4x plus y plus 3. Next up, we have 3x minus 9y plus 4 plus 8y plus x minus 1. As you can see, this expression is very similar to the one above. The only difference is that the signs on the y terms have been switched. Let's see what this does. As the x terms are the same, we still have 3x plus x, which will give us 4x. For the y terms, we now have 
minus 9y and a positive 8y. You may notice that this does not add up to a positive number. Minus 9y plus 8y equals negative 1y. And that's okay because when simplifying algebraic expressions, negative terms are allowed. For the last part, we have our constants. Our constants are the same as the example above. 4 minus 1 is 3. So our simplified expression this time around is 4x minus y plus 3. Next up, we have 3x squared minus 5x minus 10 plus x squared plus 15x plus 2. Here we have x and x squared. Although they have the same letter, x and x squared are considered two different variables because they cannot be added to each other. Therefore, our simplified expression will have three terms. With that in mind, take your time, pause the video if needed, and try to simplify this one. Okay, so after combining like terms, the simplified expression is 4x squared plus 10x minus 8. The 4x squared comes from adding 3x squared and 1x squared, or 3 plus 1. 10x is equal to 15x minus 5x, and minus 8 is equal to 2 minus 10. For our last example, let's try it without the color coding. The final expression is 9x squared plus 10x minus 5y plus 5 plus y minus 8 minus 2x plus 18. Take your time, pause the video if needed, and try to solve this one on your own. Hopefully you have tried to simplify this expression. Before the answer is revealed, let's figure out how many terms the simplified expression will have. The expression has three variables, x squared, x, and y, and it also has constants. So the simplified expression will have four terms. Now, without any further ado, let's reveal the final simplified expression. The final simplified expression is 9x squared plus 8x minus 4y plus 15. Let's break it down. Our first term is 9x squared. There is only one x squared term, so it does not require any simplification. Then we have ax, which comes from 10x minus 2x, or 10 minus 2. Next up, we have minus 4y. This comes from minus 5y and positive 1y. Lastly, we have our constant. 15. That comes from 5 minus 8 plus 18. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and best of luck on your math endeavors. Please leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials.